Hello, brothers and sisters. I am Cardinal Samantha Kennedy. Today I am talking to you about those who shall sit on the thrones of judgment and of the kingdom. Now, those people are the saints that the Messiah, Lord Real, has chosen. Now, not only will the saints reign with Christ, they will also judge with him. Now, you have to look at Revelations, book and Revelations 20, which is 4 plus. It is important to realise that even though the saints will perform judgment, this will not be the dominant activity during the Millennial Kingdom at least not in the sense of melting out the punishment but the thing is you don't seem to understand that those saints that sit on the thrones will have a throne each of the main kingdoms are, are part of the New Jerusalem so New Jerusalem will be the dominant factor of the New Kingdom but then you get offshoot kingdoms and these are the kingdoms that the saints shall sit upon with their thrones now to start with obviously they're going to be judging you everyone that comes up will be judged not just by the messiah but by these saints that are sitting on the thrones now note the term judge is used in a broader sense in scripture than in our common pra uh, parlance yeah it is often equivalent to ruler or king this is an important bearing upon our conception of Christ returning to judge the earth with the second coming okay the judgment of Christ is not limited to passing a sentence but constitutes his reign as king over the earth as king of kings and lord of lords because there'll be other factors underneath where you've got these kings and queens but then you're going to have governors and, and other pe personnel that uh, will have authority granted to them by the messiah the Psalms records that all of the saints will have the honour of judging rebellious nations and believe you me there are plenty of rebellious nations the judgment will be in accord with God's written word in their rule of Christ they will have positions of great authority they will be over the kings and nobles and leaders among the nations still in their natural bodies so as you can see the there's an execution of a judgment that's coming from the actual saints okay when i said to you about the fact that we're not only like judging the rebellious nations the rebellious nations as is as is spoken of is what we're seeing today there's a lot of nations out there that even though their leaders have been told and they are fully aware that the messiah's here they chose very stupidly they chose to ignore that fact they chose that they wanted to have the power and keep control of the people and deny them knowing deny those people knowing that the messiah is here right where they could have done the complete opposite and they could have been they could have informed their people yeah, and done the right and respectful thing okay so that is why they're going to get judged and they're going to be judged harshly because of their actions withholding the truth from you now back to the subject do you know that the saints will judge the world and if the world will be judged by you are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters 
do you not know that we shall judge angels how more how much more things that pertain to this life and that was Corinthians 1 right and it was uh, verse uh, is it chapter 6 and uh, no, it's verse 2 to 3 okay but the thing is that what what that's us saying there and this is typical of uh, Paul and uh, getting it wrong and twisting the uh, real teachings of Yeshua is that yes the people that are chosen to live within the kingdoms uh, but the thing is the real saints are not just every Tom Dick and Harry okay they are the family and they are the chosen clergy of the Messiah okay in other words, we're in divine service directly to the Messiah and we are the ones that are actually sitting on the thrones not everyone else you'll be witnessing it yes of what's happening you'll be fully aware of what's going on but uh, you will not actually partake in d doing the judgment yourselves and that's only for us several passages mention judgment of the Jewish tribes during this time were the tribes go up and the tribes of the Lord to the testimony of Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord for thrones are set there for judgment the thrones of the house of David so Yeshua said to them assuredly I say to you that in the general regeneration when the Son of Man sits on the throne of his glory you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel okay so he's he's telling the apostles the twelve apostles that they have got they that they've got their twelve thrones but twelve thrones is not just the main grand total no there are actually other thrones which make up 21 in total which classes the 21 elders but you're also those continued with me in my trials and I bestow upon you a kingdom just as my father bestowed one upon me that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sits on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel and that was actually Luke uh, 22 which is uh, verses 28 to 30 now the saints like I said to you before are the resurrected apostles that will judge over the twelve tribes of, of, and the nations of Israel so don't forget there were only three tribes that were actually remaining at the time in Israel um, during the time of Yeshua but before that the rest of the tribes had been scattered across the world and in doing so that is why he also sent out his apostles to spread the word as far and wide as possible so it reaches the, the four corners of the earth because he knew that by doing so he would reach those lost tribes okay that is why the the Jews today who are in Israel have no right to turn around and say you are not a Jew they absolutely have no right to say that to anyone right it is only the Messiah and the Father in heaven that can turn around and say you are Jewish that is why it has been spread to the so-called Gentiles so-called Gentiles okay do you understand that bit those ones in Israel now are not real Jews right they have no right to turn around and say to anyone you're not a Jew you're just a Gentile that is why many 
if they look through their ancestral history, real ancestral history, they will find that they're connected to a ancient Jewish tribe. Okay? So, you got to understand this. Why it has been so important that the teachings of Yeshua spread around the world. And why John turned around and said about the gathering, the regathering of the tribes of Israel at the end. And this is happening. And you'll find, specifically when it comes to judgment and things like that, they already know who are Jews and who are not Jews. Okay? You understand that? So yes, the tribes of Israel are gathering, you know, but there's a lot of others that obviously eventually won't be able to because of certain one thing or another in trying to get to Israel. But everyone eventually will be gathered, and it will be the angelics that collect them from the four corners of this earth and bring them forth. Now the actual 144,000, they'll be collected by the angelics these are the children of the twelve tribes of Israel they are not adults they are children and those children will be taken to Elysium right they are the new seed of the new kingdom so I'm going to also say to you this as I've explained the saints are the ones that are serving the Lord right now as his clergy these saints will be sitting on the thrones judging you every single one of you we will hold your fate in our hands we are the ones that shall sit and decide if you live or if you die. That is also why it states how heavy the crown is upon the head of he who wears it. And believe you me, we take this extremely seriously. So when you mock and scoff at us and the Lord you're putting yourself in a very bad predicament understand that point we are constantly watching you we are constantly conversing with you and trying to teach you but at the same time we're noting what you are like and then when it comes down to you standing in front of us and your life book open we see every single nook and cranny of your life every single decision you've ever made an action towards your brothers and sisters if you've been good if you've been evil we will know and we will have to pass a judgment upon you now I have seen umpteen times when I scroll down the news feed on Facebook and other websites and I see the groups and I see things that amazes me it really does I see cruelty to animals that are really really bad I see love I see hate I see a lot of stupidity with people and I often say to myself, my 
God, IQ has dropped tremendously. You see people try to make a comment, to cause a debate, to have a good discussion, to discuss something that's happening with like Nibiru or about the angelics or whatever and you, then you get some stupid moron piping in and trying to disrupt by coming out with such stupid and bizarre notions it's unreal especially when they're talking about the pantheon and they come out with pathetic notions about them and then they don't listen to what's actually being said by us when they're corrected so there's another point I tend to look out for those that show caring and love of one another and the love of God especially when I don't see that sort of thing yeah from people it saddens my heart because I cannot understand why you people can deliberately hurt someone else out of fun so-called fun it's actually a very warped fun to you when really it is sick and twisted and pathetic you know it really saddens me but it also makes me understand why so many of you will not make it into the new kingdom only 500 million plus souls from the dead and the living shall make it into the new kingdom the rest well there's a great proportion that will end up in the outer darkness suffering but that's their reward isn't it because of their behavior but would you know they're gonna end up having dog eat dog and having all these bad things going off you know but then they could have to scrape to survive but they wanted it that way they wanted the chaos they wanted the anarchy they wanted to be nasty so you get your reward don't you for that nastiness you have a choice in life you're given that choice by God you make those actions right you turn you turn around and you hurt your brother you'll suffer the consequences of that you have to make sure in your life that you love your brother and sister that you love God that you do everything you possibly can each day in e even in your thoughts to be positive to be the light okay so we're gonna have to be there sat on those thrones judging you and seeing all this on a grand scale considering how many people are on this earth now alive and you've gave us that job to do because at the end of the day you need to have this kick in the pants you need leaders that are gonna protect you you have you need leaders that are gonna stand up and make sure that you have that paradise but you work as one for the whole for the whole community that you give of yourself for the whole community that is why it says what can you give what qualities are there about you what makes you worthy that's something to think about isn't it so just bear in mind 
that while you are in the congregation that when you speak to us what we are doing in watching you that eventually you are going to be in front of us so be mindful and learn but not just that do everything you possibly can to bring others to the Lord's light share as much as possible and let your area know where you, know, where you live don't be scared of persecution for goodness sake you know because everything like I said is written down in the book of life every single action you've had every single thought you've had so if you can't be bothered to tell the, your people your friends your family that the Lord is here and you're forbidding them his light that goes against you think of that and I will say one thing which I love to say at the end of this and it's the Lord's words and it's his commandments which is love God love each other Amen <laughs>